Speed booster power regained. Run until speed boost begins. Alright. So now we can run at high speeds and we can do shine sparks. See, just like that. For those of you that don't know, a shine spark is when you build up power from a speed boost. You, you duck and then you do a, like a jump attack. I wasn't able to show you there, but I, I should be able to soon. Let's head back this way because we need to be getting to the pump control here. You duck, you build up power for a few seconds, then you jump. That is a shine spark. Which is pretty cool. Alright, that'll lower the water level, and we won't have to worry about the electricity as much. That got, also got us another missile tank. Now we can drop down here, but I don't think there's a whole lot of point. Yeah, there's a level, a red security door, the highest level security door there is, level four. have to do it like that, I just think it's cooler to do. But yeah, there we go, another missile tank. Um, we'll have to run all the way back. So that we can build up enough speed to break through. Now there is something else down here, but we need a power bomb to access it. So we'll just have to remember that for later. Just possess it already. You have to let that crab- the, the, the ex-parasite that comes out of that crab possess the one up top so that it turns into a gold one. And then you, you have to destroy that one in order to open the door in there. There's a couple of areas where you do have to do something similar to that. We can't get past those balloon things yet. But if we're quick like that, we can get past that thing before it forms. Grab a missile tank in here. We can also get another missile tank from 
down here. So Ceres had been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to, may be able to face the SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time it's missile upgrade data. We desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 is blocked by, a still, by still more SAX activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern, as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3 P uh, Pyro, I think? You will find the PYR data room on your map after using a navigation room there. Alright, so up next is Sector 3. Let's go. Off we go to Sector 3. have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the sacs and X parasites into the area, but we are left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus. You will see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super missile data is ready. Your firepower will triple. There are no ultra-heated areas on this route, so turn back if you enter one. You got it, Chief. So, first things first, we need to find a security room and undo those green hatches. The computer was right as well, there's no enemy activity in the area. At least not yet. Oh, hot hot hot. Let's not go that way. Right, I think we're gonna have to build up for a speed boost here. Oops, not quite right. But we will have to use a shine spark here. There we go. And that's how we get into the security room. Two unlocked. Green hatch is now active. Yay! Yeah. 
I'm not dealing with you guys. Yeah, the moment we did that, enemies infiltrated the area. So that's just something we'll have to deal with. Oh, these things. That's the way to do it. Get out of here. I don't think there's any point dropping down to the bottom. Let's just go up this way instead. Okay, made it to the data room. Super missile data downloaded. So that's gonna triple the damage of our of our regular missiles. Uh oh. And what was that? Whoa. Something just burst through the ground. Destroyed a security door, too. Okay, got us another missile tank. Is that the moment? One hundred and ten missiles. Definitely shaking up the area. If you look in here, you'll find that it's a security robot that's going through. So the best thing, way to deal with this thing is to hang up on this ledge. Try to stay right above the bombs that it launches because it's going to release flame powders. And you're safe right at the spot where it explodes first. Robot's main weak spot is that brown spot. Over there. Well, we're definitely dealing damage to it. Got it. Get out of here. Is 
So we haven't destroyed it, it just, just escaped. I think that's pretty much it that we can do in Sector 3 at the moment. That was fairly quick. Alright, back to the navigation room we go. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. You may destroy it if you meet it again. Your safety is vital. But as I, as to your brief, level 2 security locks are released, so sectors 5 and 6 are open. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by X. They are much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector 5 arc is sub-zero. You're still sus susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects, so you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Avoid Sector 5 for now, but in the meantime, HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Once we have the transmission, you can download it, but... The X have destroyed all the data rooms you have used so far. I no longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the Night Habitat, Sector 6 and Knock. Go to Sector 6 and access the navigation room there. Okay. Tread lightly, Samus. You're the only one who can do this. And the X may be much more dangerous than we know. Seems like it. Okay, off to Sector 6 we go. Incoming dispatch? What? Does Samus suspect anything? I don't think so. Monitor her closely. hell are the Federation talking to the to our computer about? And su suspect what? What could they be hiding? I don't like that. Keeping secrets from old Sam. Well, no matter. We need to continue with our mission and head down to Sector 6. Varia suit data is here from HQ, ready to download. Get moving to a data room. But there's a problem. X from the Sub-Zero Sector arc are in Sector 6, Knock. And they... they've been changed by the cold. If you absorb one, you'll be frozen from within. This seems like a deliberate tactic. Once you download the Varia suit modification, you'll be out of danger. Just be ex extremely careful until then. The Knock data room is here. Remember, avoid the blue X. Use your beam to stun them in order to get by. Be careful, they're hunting you actively now, Samus. And this area is very dark. Proceed with extreme caution. Great. So yeah, we're gonna have to watch out for giant blue X in this area. Because they're gonna hurt us rather than help us. Take 
Go down here, but there's not a whole lot of point. It just shows that there's a an expansion that we can't get from this side. But we'll be able to get in just a sec. I don't know. It doesn't seem that dark in here. So there we go. Another missile tank for our collection. Now that is a cold blue axe there. You can stun it temporarily if you shoot at it. But yeah, if you touch it, Samus is going to take damage. Alright, we can go in there. Definitely can't go that way either. Yeah, it's not a very good idea to try and explore in this area at the moment, just because of all these X that can hurt us. Ow. See, that did a lot of damage to us. But we appear to be back at full health now, so that's good. SAX. Will you bomb that open for me? Why, thank you. should be safe to leave now. Whew. Always scary with the sacks running around here. Just remember not to make any sounds while it's around either, because otherwise it, there's a good chance it may notice you. Eyes guarding the doors on one hit. Hey, what the? That Core X just downloaded the data from that. What? It downloaded our Varia suit data. And now it's become a giant Core X. So I think we need to stick for the charge. Okay, now we can. Right, 
uh, to the Corex. And hello to our Varia suit. Or Varia suit, however you want to pronounce it. Survive extreme temperatures. Alright, so we'll no longer be affected by hot and cold areas now. So for a little while, the, those blue X's will still be after us. But they're not dumb. Once they realize that the cold isn't hurting Samus anymore, they're going to start to run away from us instead. Thanks for the help there, boys. Right, we need to jump, otherwise we're going to fall through that platform there. And I think if we hold to the left-hand side of the wall... Yeah, like that. It leads to another missile tank. But yeah, see, they're not stupid. Now they're starting to run away from us because they know that they aren't hurting us anymore. Puffer. Ow. So now that there's no threat from the cold X, we're more free to explore this area. Not that there's a whole lot to explore at the moment, anyway. attack for that thing, and then power bombs for that. fake missile tank, so they can even imitate uh, missile expansions now, which is kind of funny. Sector 6 at the moment. Alright guys, so I think that this is going to be a good stopping point for today. I think that we made some pretty good progress. We're probably about halfway through the game at this point, I would say. Or at least pretty close to the halfway point. 
So um, when you guys join me next time, I think that the next area that we're going to is Sector 5, the Arctic region. So that's what we'll be doing next time, and I'll see you then, guys.